You're watching Autour du Monde, and this is Quebec, Canada. If Quebec and Canada is on your travel list, Please stick around and subscribe to our channel. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, write down a comment, and share it with your travel buddies. In this first episode, we're starting off visiting Ilocud, a small island located 125 kilometers east from Quebec. We'll first stop at Bouchard Bakery for lunch. We'll visit two meals and the Penno Cider Factory and we'll have a spectacular image from St. Louis Church and St. Lawrence River. Ilocoudre is located around 125 kilometers northeast of the city of Quebec, in the heart of the St. Lawrence River and at the foot of the mountains in the Charlevoix region. It is a popular destination for families looking for activities. The ferry leading to the Île aux Coudres is located in the village of Saint-Joseph-de-la-Rive. There are two departures every hour in high season in both directions and the ferry is free. Before getting there, you will pass through the village of Les Zéboulements, which is one of the most beautiful villages in Quebec. You will have a spectacular view of Île aux Coudres and Saint-Joseph-de-la-Rive as you descend the steep hillside to the ferry. Barely 30 square kilometers in size, Ilo Coudre is a jewel of tourism in Charlevoix. The road that surrounds it is about 23 kilometers long, which is why many tourists leave their car behind and tour the island by bicycle. The history of Ilo Coudre goes back to the beginning of New France. In fact, the explorer Jacques Cartier was the first European to drop anchor year during his second trip to Canada in 1535. During our passage, we make a stop at the Bouchard Bakery to bring back some specialties from the place. The bakery is an institution on the island and offers artisanal breads, various regional and homemade products, and Charlevoix cheeses. Outdoor tables allow you to eat on the site and enjoy the magnificent landscape all around. Lille is a must in Ilo Coudre. We find there two important tourist attractions, the Kaya Rock and the Monument of Father Labrosse, where the first Mass was celebrated on the island. Missionary Jean-Baptiste de Labrosse served on the island for two years 
from 1766 to 1767. As for Kaya, a man with a troubled spirit and of impressive size, legend has it that he would have spent his life on the rock who bears his name. Lille is also known because it was the location for the filming of Pour la Suite du Monde, in English, The Moon Trap, the first Quebec film to be presented at Cannes Festival. Built in 1885, the Church of St. Louis is recognized as one of the most beautiful in Quebec. In fact, it is a replica of the Basilica of Saint Anne de Beaupré, which burned down in 1922. Most of the material used to construct this church is from the island. The bells were purchased in England. All around the vault, 15 frescoes were painted by local artists and relate in large part episodes from the life of St. Louis, patron saint of the parish. At the beginning of the 19th century, the inhabitants of the Ilocud had great difficulty grinding their grain. Having only the windmill, it was not uncommon for islanders to have insufficient floor to feed themselves due to the lack of wind. At the time of the seigneurial regime, the solution to the problem was to erect a windmill near the water mill to correct the situation. Still in operation, the site is a unique place in the world to understand how these architectural wonders work. It's in the 18th century that the first settlers began to settle there. The families coming mainly from Orlean Island. Agriculture will be the main occupation. At the beginning of the 19th century, the maritime industry will take over. Navigators were numerous. Schooner construction and repair yard were in operation until the 50s. A stay at Ilokud is an exceptional welcome from its inhabitants. Take the opportunity to rent a bike and ride around the island. Maybe you will stop, like us, at the famous hotel La Roche Pleureuse. Its name comes from another local legend. In 1805, a certain Charles de Gagné is said to have gone to the sea in hope of returning to marry in the fall. For a year, his fiancée will wait for him looking at the horizon until the day she disappeared. Her father saw a large rock surrounded by flowers under which a trickle of water was escaping. Then he understood that his daughter Louise had turned to a rock. Anyone who goes around the island will fall under the spell of Penno Cidery a jowl of agrotourism in Charlevoix. The family business has been found in 1918 and its orchard have more than 6,000 apple trees and 3,000 fruit trees. It is explained that the fruits grow in abundance here thanks to the microclimate of the island. The company produces 25 cider, mistel and creams for a total production of 100,000 bottles per year. After a busy day, we take the road again in the direction of La Malbaie, located about 30 minutes away. If you travel through the region on a tight schedule, 
allow you enough time to wait on the return trip as visitors leaving the island converge to the ferry in the late afternoon. In high season, it's not uncommon to wait more than an hour to board the ferry. We hope you enjoyed this first episode of Auto du Monde in Quebec, Canada. If you like our videos, please subscribe to our channel. We'll leave you with some image of our next episode.